Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mary Urquhart and I'm a planetary scientist and science educator here at the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm excited to share information with you on two upcoming solar eclipses and how to view them right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. On Saturday, October 14th, 2023, an annular solar eclipse will move across Texas. In an annular eclipse, the moon is farther away from the Earth and won't completely cover the sun. The folks in San Antonio and Corpus Christi will have the best view with a ring of the sun surrounding the moon. Here in the Metroplex, we'll still see an outstanding partial solar eclipse with about 80% of the sun covered by the moon. You can think of the October eclipse as a dress rehearsal for the big event. About six months later, on April 8, 2024, most of the DFW area will experience a total solar eclipse. The next total eclipse in the United States won't happen until 2044, and there won't be another one near Texas until 2045. This makes the April 2024 total solar eclipse a must-see event. Staring at the sun can cause serious eye damage, so how can you safely observe these solar eclipses? First, Know that you can safely observe a solar eclipse with or without any special equipment. If you use eclipse glasses or viewers, make sure you have the real ones, certified to meet the current international standard. Some of you might remember the problem with counterfeit eclipse glasses for the 2017 solar eclipse being sold through online vendors. Don't worry. If you don't have access to eclipse glasses or viewers, you can still safely observe the eclipses. All you need to view a solar eclipse indirectly is something to act as a pinhole projector. The leaves of trees can serve this purpose. So can your fingers, or a hole punched in a card, or even a colander. You can also use a special indirect solar viewer called a sun spotter. Use a telescope or binoculars to project an image of the sun or make a pinhole viewer out of a cardboard box. Please don't use your phone, a camera, a telescope, or binoculars to look directly at the sun without a solar filter specifically designed for use with them. NASA recommends seeking advice from an astronomer before using a solar filter with any of these devices. If you buy such a filter, look for the certification, just as you would with eclipse glasses. Remember, it's never safe to look directly at the disk of the sun during a solar eclipse or on any other day. You'll also need the same sun protection, such as sunscreen or a hat that you'd usually use outside on an average sunny day. During eclipse totality, when the moon completely blocks the sun, is the only time it's safe to look up without a solar filter and see the faint solar corona, the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. The solar corona is always there. It's just too faint to see next to the sun's light. Just before and after totality, that brief time when the moon completely blocks the sun, you may notice shadows starting to look strange. During totality, you'll also notice the sky becoming dark enough to see stars with twilight all around the horizon. Animals, including insects, also react to the changing light. Once totality is over, you'll need to go back to using your protective equipment, like eclipse glasses or viewers, or your indirect viewing methods. Because the timing of solar eclipses varies by location, it's important to check when totality is happening where you are. One of my favorite websites for checking times and locations of both solar and lunar eclipses is timeanddate.com. We'll include the timeanddate.com links for both of these eclipses, information on buying eclipse glasses, and more in the show notes. There's always a chance of clouds or stormy weather in the spring or fall here in North Texas. It's still worth it to go outside. You'll be able to observe the changes in the environment, especially during totality. You'll also be able to see the eclipse from live streams from NASA and others along the eclipse path. Just remember, don't use the live streams to time totality at your location. 
I hope you and your family have the opportunity to experience our area's upcoming rare and exciting celestial events. We at UTD and UTD's Geoscience Studio are excited to help share information about these solar eclipses and so much more with our community. Check out our UTD Geoscience Studio YouTube channel to learn more about Earth science and to look for future eclipse videos.